Hello, hello, hello. It's Private Talk Podcast with Alexis Texas, and we're back season two with another episode. And today we have Auntie on the couch. Hello. Hi, welcome. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming to Private Talk. We're excited to get to know more about you. You're an actress, a model. We want to know all the things you have going on right now. Tell Private Talk more. Right. Well, I guess in the, the modeling world, um, I have swim week coming up. Um, and then uh, I get to walk all the shows, opening and closing, so that's awesome. Um, and then I also... How is that? Do you get nervous? Or do you, I like, mean, it's exciting, obviously, but it's yeah, like, do you, do you have is. rituals before you do your, your shows? Girl. Like, what do you do? Tell us all the good stuff. Yeah, well, right now I'm definitely in, uh, like, grind mode. I'm doing my... I usually work out twice a day anyways, but probably six times a week. Um, doing my like lymphatic massages. Uh, I do everything. I'm like a psycho. But, but is this something that you do normally, or is something you're just doing more of, like more because um, of you have it coming up? I do it normally, but I'm like kicking it into high gear. Uh, you know, when it gets down to like the last week, I'll be like taking water pills, stuff like that, just okay. just go like because you're prancing around the now, in a is bikini. This, is this you know? your first time walking? Um, first swim week, yes. Okay. I've, I've always wanted to do it, so I'm really excited. That's exciting. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank That's you. a big accomplishment. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, it's cool. That's why I always remember, it's like, for me, I've, you know, when I do stuff, I always, like, I'm really excited, but right before, I'm so nervous, and then, like, you just go, and you just don't, right. autopilot, and you just go it. Right. Enjoy Confidence it. is key, so as long as you have that, you're good, you know. So how many shows are you watch- or are walking? Um, they just sent me the list. I get to pick and choose. That's a good thing. Um, but there's, it's like, 25 or something Amazing. like that in four days. You're going to be a so. busy, busy girl. Yeah. I like it. I'm not going to do all of them, of course. I'll pick which ones I want to do. But, um, yeah, it'll be busy for sure. That's and really then cool. I just um, came back from shooting a TV show. Uh, I did my third season of Wild and Out. Um, and then... I don't How know. is being in that atmosphere with so many personalities, so many, like, you know, people trying to, like, you know, in their sense, everyone has a spotlight, but it's, like, their turn or whatever. How is it being in that environment? Um, it's fun. A uh, lot of personalities for sure um everyone's a character on that show and that's why I love it uh but I don't know it's it's different out of like all the tv shows I've ever done you know I also hosted a show on CBS um that was obviously way more formal um these shows like Nick Cannon's show you get to get be wild and I mean obviously that's the whole concept um but I don't know I, I I enjoy it uh but I personally like playing characters, okay. so that's where like my passion lies more so. Um, so whatever like TV show or movie I can book and play a role, I prefer that over like reality. What has been your favorite role that you've gotten so far? Um, I played a mob wife. Nice. And, yeah, in a, uh, a movie called Mob Town, uh, it came out two years ago. And I've always wanted to be part of like. The mob, mob world. Yeah, low key, It's so mysterious. So. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's kind of, it's like, I get it. I like role play. Right. Different types. Yeah, but yes, totally. I like role play. So, I don't know. As far, like, as of now, that's it. But uh, I want to do more comedy. So, more comedy. Crossed. Yeah. So, what are you doing to get to that thing? Are you doing, like, YouTube ways? Or are you just doing, like, more, like, how do you get into, jump into that world since you've already kind of, like, doing your own branding stuff now? Right, right. Um, so, I studied at Groundlings and did, a lot, like, a lot of improv, uh, studied with other, like, big acting, like, comedic acting teachers um, and then during the pandemic I basically all of that kind of got cut off so to continue it I took to TikTok and started doing like comedy scenes and just playing them as myself um, and playing the guy part and the girl part and like mashing it up and uh, it's been popping off it just is very time consuming yeah um, but it's like a whole job in itself oh my goodness some videos can take like 18 hours to edit oh really yeah that's crazy. Are you doing that all yourself? Do you have yes. a team doing things? No, I'm doing it all oh, by myself. I have tried to hire people, but I'm just such a perfectionist and so hands-on. I'm like, it's not right, you know? So how did you, okay, talk about the TikTok world. Like, mm-hmm. you know, is it something that, you know, you started off that you just kind of stumbled upon? Did you have friends doing it to kind of teach you the way? Or are you just kind of like, hey, I'm going to try this comedy thing out. I'm going to try these skits. I like being, you know, different types of characters and just see what, how it went. Like, how did that work out? Right. Um, yeah, I started, so I was a dancer growing up, um, so I kind of was doing more, like, of the dancing TikToks at first, uh, and just kind of doing, like, music video type of stuff, and I did a few, um, like, comedy scenes, and 
people really took to them. So then I just kept on going with that. Um, but I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Like, how is that getting into, like, the TikTok world? Like, getting so many, you know, as followers, as many you do, like, so many viewers. Like, how do you get, gain that momentum? It was it just, like, you kind of just took a shot and did it? Or yeah. did you have people tell you, like, that it was really successful and tell you, like, a formula how to I mean, do you it? Just or kinda, you just kind of you just did the content? You just kind of see it. Yeah, I mean, you see kind of what works. Like, some videos won't go off at all, and then some will, and then you just kind of find, Gravitate like, similarities kind of and stuff like that. And then I find that ones that I do that have taken off and I – kind of mimicked it mm -hmm. those ones have been just as successful so it's just kind of like a trial and error type of thing but it's who are your you're influences like in that kind of world like the comedy world um in the comedy world i i mostly like guys okay uh i love uh jim carrey will farrow um adam sandler uh more of those just like goofy guys mm -hmm. uh steve corral kristen wig i mean throw a girl in there i yeah. love cameron diaz mm -hmm. Um, but I don't know, just people who are not afraid to like be themselves and just be just goofy. Jump in there and just yeah. do it, like kind of whatever works. But exactly. I like that. Is there like a go-to or a, a, a role that you have in mind that you would like to do? Um, kind of, I guess I've always, I mean, there's a few, of course. I want to be like that badass goddess woman, like Kill Bill type of thing, right? Or like, like Wonder it. Woman. Um, so I want to play something like that. And then I also want to do, like, that fun, cute, like, Cameron Diaz vibe. Um, like, she's, like, that hot girl that everyone, like, loves, but very cutesy. And she has, like, this funny way about doing things, I feel like. So if I could get a role like that, I would love that. Awesome. Yeah. So what's the best advice you've ever gotten? Ooh. Uh, probably to... You know, not really talk about what you're up to and what you're doing. Because um, the minute you start talking about stuff, it just, you know, creates haters and creates people that will go and take it away before you get it. Before you get it. Yeah, exactly. So Because like, we're on a podcast. We're talking about exactly, things here, But it's you like you get into, yeah. like, you know, without being, having, like, all your eggs in one basket and, like, having right. a hatch or something hatched before that kind of thing. Right. Where it's like exactly. you want to, like, make sure it's a go-to thing. Right. And then don't say stuff before it happens, basically, yeah. What is your dating life currently? Oh, terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Is um, it because of COVID or is it because of just, you know, why is it terrible? No, I actually had three boyfriends during COVID. <laughs> so COVID, that's why we need COVID back to get you some boyfriends. Yeah, right? No, um, I mean, everyone's just like living their hot girl summer, hot boy summer. You know what I mean? Uh, and also, I find that every single guy I've gone on a date with starting 2021, um, it's either they'll like be flaky or weird or like I'll go on a double date and they'll go for my friend or it's like the weirdest stuff yeah. yeah it's almost like God's like no not right now and then they're maybe all it's the wrong the way. type of boys or guys not yeah boys, it like. might also not be the right time I think it's career okay. time for me and that's, I'm okay with that that's yeah. fair you know what I mean yeah. sometimes you just need somebody to like entertain you but not like you exactly. know you're like right at the moment but not like right now forever you right. know you just need some like I roster. try the fuck buddy too um in the beginning of the year, but he sucked because he was just always so busy, <laughs> and then I was so busy, and I'm like, we're never even having sex. Like, what's the point of this? So yeah, that's not fun. And no. It's like there's no emotions at all either, and it's just sex, mm -hmm. and I'm not getting the sex. What is this doing? What are we doing? Right, exactly, exactly. Yeah, we need to find better fuck buddies. I know but the world's opening up, so it's hard. You know yeah. what I mean? Which well, easy and hard. It right. It just day. might be one of those summers that's like. So is he really gonna have a hot girl summer? Oh, yeah. I mean, my <laughs> sex life is fine if I choose to do that. You know what I mean? Uh, but as far as, like, men that I'm interested in having a relationship with, not really any. So do they, like, how do you find these men? Because I feel like it's really hard to find people these days, especially you said, co and especially with COVID, you said you had three boyfriends during COVID. Do, yes. Is it all through social media? How do they, like... How do we get to know you more? Yeah, well, um, one of them was an ex, and then another one I met out at a party, and then another one I met on Raya. Nice. So, yeah, I don't really so dating to... apps are you are you on a lot of them or just Ew, Raya? I just on Raya, and honestly, I I've been on there since like 2015, and it was good in the beginning, and now I'll go on maybe three times a year. Mm -hmm. Uh, if I'm bored or whatever, but I do you feel like there's like genuine the there. picks there no. or like because I just feel like dating there's apps in general are just awkward for me because I feel like 
I don't know, how do you just like pick from a picture to whatever? And then like meeting people to me is just kind of awkward sometimes right. a stranger. Right. But like you're out and about and organic, I feel it would be just like more better of a situation. But yeah, no, I'm trying to do that. Otherwise, like guys will slide in my DMs or I'll meet them through a friend or it's usually when you're like out and about. So if a guy slides into your DMs and like do you go through his whole page and look before you like answer back or you just yes. you're, you're, no, yeah, you're, you're, of doing, course. you're doing some research. Yeah, I see. size them up first, of course. Yeah. I like this. Is there a certain type of per guy that you have? Um, I used to have a type, but now I'm all over the place. And um, I'm kind of going, I feel like I'm attracted to like black guys right now. Okay. Like, that's like my thing. Um, but before then, I was, I like tall, uh, athletic, but I've dated all sizes. I've dated all races. I've dated everything. Have you dated women? That's the only thing I haven't dated. And Would honestly, you be guys open to keep it pushing me to it. So like, <laughs> date them or just have sex with them? There's a difference. I know. I I mean, true. Because I feel like you don't have to date a girl to be into girls. You yeah. can have, you know, like a sexual relationship or like in situations. Right. But it's not like some people just don't be romantic. Like I was in the adult business and I did, you know, girl, girl scenes. But I never, I liked girls, but I didn't like, I would never want to be in a relationship at that right. time. Like I liked having girlfriends, but, mm -hmm. you know, I liked doing my own, you know, the right. same thing in that way. So it's like I've. It's like you don't have to, I feel like it's misconstrued. It doesn't have to be one or the other. Right. You can enjoy it all. Right, exactly. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I've I, I've never had the, the urge. You just um, haven't found the right woman or maybe this is not for you. Yeah, exactly. But honestly, I don't know. I feel like women could but you're not be off, a better. But you're, but you're not off, like it's not off limits. It's not off limits, but I've also never had hooked up with a girl before. Um, I've had a girl like go down on me. Um, How was that experience? It was fine. Yeah. Actually, I kind of was like into it. But did you reciprocate and do anything to her? No. See, I feel I'm like not, yeah. let's talk about this. Oh, because so then I'm not like, gay, right? See, I feel like it. I mean, it's not I'm like not. just because you do one encounter like that, I you don't think it has to be labeled to anything, but that's me. Yeah. But I also feel like, too, like I was in a situation where. I went down on a girl, but she wouldn't go down on me, and it was just awkward. And not that I needed her to do whatever, but then it was just like, where do we go from here? Right, right. Because if you don't like it or whatever, then why are, like, I just feel like it's a selfish lover situation. Like, yeah. I want to be an equal opportunity. We're either doing it to each other or why waste my time yeah. in that situation. But with someone like yourself, if it's something you've never done, it's something maybe you need to be eased into. Like, you know what I mean? And that's rightfully so, because I've, you know, more experienced, like, hypersexually in that level because I've already been with women before. Right. Um, so it's like, that. you know, that's why it's like, it doesn't make you one way or the other if you like what you like. You know what I mean? And that's right. why I think it's also just like with men. Some guys, you just don't like like that. Yeah. And some women, it's, you know, you have an, a, a, a chemistry or an attraction to them that you can't explain or just whatever. And then some girls are just like, oh, she's cool to drink with, but, right. you know. I think I just made a double standard, too, because I feel like if a guy, like, got his, like, dick sucked or whatever, that would be, if he wouldn't do it to the other guy, I feel like he'd still be gay. I think that this by being bisexual. I mean, bisexual. Okay, so I feel like I for me, I think that. a lot of men, like I've had the conversation with a lot of male friends and they don't agree with that, that this thing gets one or the other. Right. And you know what I mean? I can understand to the point, but I just feel like it's it's very, I don't think like it, they may still like that, whatever, but they don't, it's like how they like it. You know what I mean? Like it's right. like different situations. And so I feel like, right. I don't know, I think it shouldn't be labeled like that, but mm -hmm. I feel like it's to each his own in that part. But no, I don't definitely. think that it's like, I think it's bisexual how I see it, because it's like, right. they like both. Some do, and then some favor more than like getting it or taking it. Like right. it's receiving things and like how lovers are, their love languages is mm -hmm. everyone speaks a little bit differently. Right. But maybe there's a woman out there there for you. I feel like, I feel like because you're not like closed off to the point that maybe it'll like one time be like in your mind, you're gonna be like thinking about this on the couch right, right. now. I mean like, this is the moment. When I was younger, I had a lot of really attractive girls try to take me home all the time. But I was like, no. How did that make you feel? Did it make you feel like. Girls are into me, weirdly. I think I give them a little Were they Because I feel like some energy. women get aggressive. Like, you're like, well, what? You know what I mean? Like, how yeah, did you take it? Because you are a beautiful did. girl. Yeah, and it's you. like, how do you put, like, separate? You're like, no, I'm, I just, can we just be friends? Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I kind of played it off like, oh, you're, like, so sweet. Thank you. And you're so pretty. But I just don't swing that way. And they're like, Oh, come on, just like try it. I'm like, no. Let me be the one. Yeah, right, exactly. Then you're more of a target, you know what I mean? Then right. you're just like, yeah, you know, true. You know mm -hmm. So it's either Fresh way. Meat. <laughs> like, I always, in this I'm like, I have a boyfriend or I'm, I'm in a relationship. I'm in a. Right, right. They sometimes still don't even take that one for an answer, but you know, <laughs> like, it's always like, yeah, true. What are you gonna do? 
What is one thing that men always fuck up on when it comes to relationships, do you think? Oh, my goodness. Oh, so many things. <laughs> um, Tell us all. We want to hear. <laughs> yeah. Give us the tea. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, definitely, I feel like when they gawk at other girls... You know what I mean? Like, like no when matter, you're with your girl on the side of them? or what do Yeah, you well, even if you were, like, at dinner and there's a pretty girl, they don't really, you know what I mean? Like, some of them will just, like, stare. But you'll be at dinner with them, and you'll be like, okay, babe, you can look a few times. Like, she's pretty. Yeah. But, like, when it gets to the point that you're looking at her more than me, like, there's problems. So you've had this conversation before? Oh, yeah. So, like, how would you want it to be addressed? Do you just want them to look a couple times and then stop looking? Or would you be like, hey, she's really hot. What do you think? Or would that make you mad, too? I just don't think that guys realize they're doing it. You know what I mean? Um, I, and I guess, I don't know. I'd be like, look, yeah, she's pretty. You can look, like, once or twice. But, like, it's yeah. just, like, at no, that point, it's disrespectful. No, it gets it's to disrespectful. a point where it's disrespectful. Exactly. Yeah, it's like, you know, because me, I'm like, I would like to, you know, appreciate it be like oh say it together or look together so it's not like now i know what you're looking at right, exactly you know I mean? but don't make it look like you're like looking like no i'm not looking over there and yeah. then it's awkward for everybody it's like just right. say what you're i think a lot of it is with the communication part because mm -hmm. it's like people think like oh you're gonna get mad if i say that well actually i'd rather you tell me that truth than me wondering the whole time if you know this person or right. like whatever kind of thing that you're thinking right and on social media and stuff, when, like, they get mad when uh, you post a bikini photo or something, and then but then the, all the photos that they're liking on Instagram are all these other girls in bikinis. You know what I mean? Okay, so and let's I'm, talk like, about that. You are such, like, a hater. When dating in the social media world, you're a big, you know, influence on TikTok mm -hmm. and things like that. Do people come at you, like, because of your content after they're already with you and knowing who you are? And yep. has it broken you up in relationships? Yep. A few, actually, especially uh, when I got on OnlyFans. Uh, my last two boyfriends were really mean, bad, like mean about it. But I knew on date one, everything. I was like, you can go through my shit, like whatever. I'm not hiding anything. Um, and I'm not nude. I mean, I'm implied, but I'm like, you know what I mean? I have nothing to hide. Mm -hmm. And then three months into the relationships, like they would get so controlling and you can't do this and you can't do that. But then they want me to pay for their dinner. But do they see, like, but do they know, see like, what, what your is content happening? is and they're saying that? Or they're just being insecure because they don't know what it is. They just know that no, you're I working. Was, I would, whatever. in the beginning, like I would send them some of my content, like, uh, you know, yeah. like just like to give it to them too, like to mm -hmm. be hot or whatever. And... They liked it at first, and then it got a little, like... You get too much attention, and then it's not okay. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just insecure, not ready for it. Right. But, yeah. So, does that... That obviously happens a lot. Yeah, a lot. And, um, yeah, people can't help, like... Of course, like, I'm a sex symbol, right? So, I mean, like, a lot of... I have a lot of men followers. Um, and that's what I'm, like, known for, right? That curvaceous body and all that. So, it's definitely... A controlling thing with a lot of guys that are with me i need a very confident man and i can't seem to find him anywhere so are you on the flip side with that being said like if you're you've been into a relationship and are you equally as jealous if they're liking these pictures like you said because it goes both ways because it's like you can't have your cake and eat it too about every situation nope. if you are willing to put that out there yeah no definitely um I mean, I'm not over here liking a bunch of, you know, naked guys on Instagram, so I guess it's different in that aspect. Uh, but I definitely am a jealous type, yes. Um, like, if he is... But a lot of these guys, it's different, because if he, it's not like girls are coming up to him. It's more that he's going up to the girls. So, yeah, I'm going to get so it's jealous. it's about the thirsty level of what it's, like, the yeah. extent. Because, I mean, for me, I, I think help. there's one thing that's liking a picture, though. But are you mad at that? Or are you mad at, like, now you're commenting and now you're saying, like, trying to be emoji? Oh, if whatever. it was, like, that? Oh, the, yeah. No. So you get no. mad at a like? Uh, no, but I watch it. I mean, a little bit. I, I mean... I don't get mad at it, no. And also, I'm working on that stuff. It's just, for me, like, girls dating too. in social media is just mm -hmm. crazy. Because, like, you right. know, I'm, you know, um, personality myself where it's, like, it's a persona. It's mm -hmm. not my 24-7, but I have pictures on there. I have a big ass. I have, you know, my anything I wear looks like my ass swallowed it, so it doesn't matter, you know what I mean? So right. it's, it's in there, but it's not, like any nudity you can't even post anything like that on instagram now yeah. i have been fully nude before i've been in the adult industry and i have mm -hmm. movies and i've done that and i've done that too so it's like levels of things so now the evolution of where it is people still it's like where's that gray area do they get right. mad at 
a thong picture or you get mad at because your boobs are like, you know what I mean, out or whatever it is. It's like that level. But like you said, the only thing that's going to help those things is finding a, a strong partner who's going to like right. help you and cater to your you know brand and know all of you and what you're allowed to do. What's good for it makes you happy. Right. And that you guys that are so secure with each other that it's not even a question. Like he can go like a photo and I can go, you know, get hit on by this guy and have a conversation and I'm still going to end up going back with him and it's going to be totally fine because we're not interested in anybody but each other. Yes. So That's I what I'm that. looking for. But what is your craziest interaction with a fan or celebrity? Ooh. Oh gosh. I'm sure I have a ton. Um, Hmm. Here, we'll give you some time. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Let's see. What's my crazy in what way, you think? What is a crazy experience for you? Maybe it was, like, too intense where it was, like, crazy fan that wouldn't leave you alone, or maybe it was a good feeling the first time a fan experience, or, right. you know, what? Um, what is your comfortability level? I mean, it's always really cool when, uh, like, a celebrity knows who you are, especially, like, a big celebrity that... So who like, is one person that you were like, you're my fan, and then you're like, it's one of those moments? Uh, Emily Ratajkowski. Okay. Actually, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, and I don't know, I've had, a, like, a bunch of people, obviously, if they've seen, like, my videos and stuff like that, they're like, oh, yeah, I've seen your stuff. And um, I don't know. I have also uh, Gal Gadot. Um, so when she was, you know, Gal... She, no. Wonder Woman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I was actually friends with her for a, a while, and um, I was on set of Wonder Woman, the one that just came out. Mm -hmm. um, and she, when I came on set, she was said, stop. And uh, she walked down in her Wonder Woman outfit, Wonder Woman outfit, down the, the Washington stairs and to give me a hug, and then went back up with Chris, not Chris Pratt, or the other guy. Yeah. Yeah. But Pine. Yeah. There you go. I was like, yeah. That's an awesome feeling. It was to cool. Have, like, yeah. yeah. That's it was just cool. like an iconic kind of like moment. And I had Leonardo DiCaprio once like do the, the thing to me. I thought that was kind of cool. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, like little moments, and then of course like, crazy fans. Um, uh, I'll be somewhere around the world, and they'll just come up to you, and they'll you know, I don't know. It's kind of cool when you're like in Amsterdam or Mexico or. Iceland. Like for a picture? Yeah. Or like to say yeah, yeah. like, hey, do, what is like the most vote video that they like come up to you the most and talk about? What's like your most um, iconic thing, I guess, in your career? People really knew me for barstool sports. Mm -hmm. uh, that's kind of how I got my start. And so I, I gained like a big fan base in that world. So whenever I'm like at sporting events, I get bombarded with these guys like mm -hmm. that are my age. Like, Oh, you're the barstool girl. <laughs> like, yes. So that was like six years ago. I'm like, that was the start. I've done a lot since then, but mm -hmm. it's still my claim to fame, I guess. Number one. Mm -hmm. What is your social media weakness? Um, my social media weakness. In what way? That you have to do. That's just like a guilty pleasure. You're on it all the time, not work. Yeah. That you're like doing things. If it's whatever. If it's like down a deep rabbit hole of. Right. I really like Twitter. Okay. Um, but I, why? Like what? I just like help you. It just like feels that I can be myself the most. Well, actually TikTok, I feel like I can um, give more of my personality and Instagram is just kind of whatever to me anymore, but it was still like my baby. Um, because it's so censored? Yeah. they. F I feel like they destroyed it and they shadow ban and they, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? They're so... Haters. Yeah, haters. And I, you know, I just want to have the freedom to say what I want, post what I want. For sure. You know, if I, you know, if I want to do a hand bra and say, go follow my OnlyFans, then I should be able to do that. Not, For sure. You know? For like, oh, hate. sexual solicitation or whatever. Body shaming, thing, all whatever. of it. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I like Twitter because they're the only ones yet that have, you know, haven't body shamed me. I feel like there's so many people that have have like, you know, similar issues within all over the board of like different kinds of like people in general. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there's gonna be more people who are going to either create something else that it does allow us to do different kinds of content because it's just like, and people, people are, are, all right. People are just fed up. So um, I think, we, you know, people want to kind of take their like freedom back from like their content and doing right. kind of free, you know, liberal type of thing. Right. What are some of your daily rituals that you swear by and think everyone should explore? 
Um, well, like I said, I work out twice a day, except for Sundays. Um, Pilates. But that's every day, or is that because of your swim competition? No, I every day. Okay. Okay. Yeah, um, I love it. Uh, unless I'm like traveling, obviously, then I don't. Or if I have, you know, a photo shoot that day, or if I'm shooting something. Um, but for the most part, that's my day to day life. Um, I'm a way better person when I do that. Also, my face routine, uh, my skincare routine. I'm like psychotic about that okay. as well. Um, morning and night morning and night and it's about like a 10 minute thing unless I do like my my masks and all of that Um, but I feel like if you have a good skin and a good body then you're good you know anything else will you can you can do whatever you want at that point I like it Mm -hmm. what advice would you give your younger self hmm pay attention in school (laughs) Um, and also in sports, I feel like I just kind of, you know, I was fucked off when I was little and I look at all the time I wasted and how much farther I could be, you know, if I, um, just would have put in the effort instead of being lazy. But when you're little, like you don't want to do much. Mm -hmm. Um, and I wish I would have just like, you know, uh, like, got more into, like, my creativity when I was little. Because I was very creative as a child, but, like, I didn't do a lot with it. Um, and I wish I would have. There's still time, girl. Yeah. There's oh, yeah, that's why I'm doing it now. Yes, but I love uh, it. You know but, I mean? yeah, you're younger, yeah. so you would have been an earlier start. Exactly, yes. Tell me something that everybody talks about and hypes that you think is something overrated. Um, give me some time on this one. <laughs> okay, well we got we got you. I got you. Thank you. Give me anything kind of like trend that's been going on in the world. Any kind of like things that you just like the hype is just like not you don't see it. You don't. Right. You're just like why? Um, I guess it would be uh Clubhouse. Yeah. You know, um I got on it, but I don't I don't see the hype there. You just go in little rooms and talk. I mean, I get it, but I don't know. I just, it's not for me. Yeah, I definitely have an account. I haven't explored too much. I did in the beginning, but I definitely haven't got into it as everybody else. But I'm also right. not on TikTok either because I don't know how to do anything like, right. other than be me, which obviously that's part of it, which is funny. But just one of those, one of those platforms that you're just like, never got around to. And I'm like, now I feel like I'm either too old or just don't know if I can even do any of no, those dances. You can do it. That I would never do any of the dances, mind you, mind you, because it is not for me. But I do other kind of dancings with my booty. All right, there you go. Different kind of things. But I just feel like it's something that I just haven't tapped into. Like, I don't even go and look at TikTok things, other than it's where it's, like, been trending somewhere or something like that. But I right. need to, for sure. It's something that definitely I feel like everybody is, you know. Yeah, you need to get on it. Get on there, but yes. Yeah, yeah so. great engagement. What kind of advice would you give someone who's new to TikTok um, world? Just social media, I guess, in general. Yeah, trying social to create media a brand. in general. Yeah, uh, I would say that. Try to create a brand. Um, see, you know, what do you want to do? What's your niche? Um, like, de- depending, like, if you want to be, if you want to be an influencer in general, um, I'd say get on everything. And uh, it's, you have to post every day and just be yourself, put yourself out there. But whatever you want to promote and whatever you want to be, be that. And, you know, just go with it and see if it goes off. Nice. Yeah. What is one subscription that you cannot live without right now? Hmm. Probably my, I don't know, my Netflix. Netflix? Yeah. Are you but definitely Netflix and chill kind of girl? Uh, I usually go, go, go. But when <laughs> I'm home and I get to chill with my dog, Yeah. I love it. I like that too. Sometimes, you know, I feel like Netflix kind of got stale for me a while. Then I went to Hulu. Now it's like all of these things. It's yeah, like, now there's a million different apps. But yes, I love, I love it. So let's take a little bit of a break, and then okay. we're gonna go to my favorite part called Truth with Texas. We're gonna get to know you and even more. All right, let's do it. All right, private talk. We are back and ready to play Truth with Texas. My favorite part. We're gonna play a little game and it's four cards. Each different ace suit is a different type of questions. So we're going to get to know you a little bit more. All right. Can I tell you? You tell me what it is. Uh, Ace of Hearts. Ace of Hearts is a romantic question. Okay. Would you consider yourself romantic? Um, I would definitely consider myself a hopeless romantic. What is the most romantic thing someone's ever done for you? 
Um, probably have flown me to Paris on like our second date for dinner. Romantic. Yeah. I like that. That sets the bar pretty high. Yeah, it does. What happened to date number three? Um, <laughs> no, I actually ended up dating him for a year. So nice. yeah, it ended up being okay, but just best friends still today, but just not the guy for me. Ever sent a naughty picture? Yes, I have. To whom? To a few people. To a few people. Do you ever see the same photo to a bunch of different people? Yes. I Not so a bunch of different people, well, well, but okay. I have read Your crew of people. Say there's, well, just you know, two or three. Right. And they get the same pic with the same caption? Um, and then your OnlyFans gets it? OnlyFans doesn't get that. I want the truth! Don't lie to us, girl. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I, I have I'd be recycling like, a picture, girl. Yes. I do it for sure. Yeah. I'm like, if it's really good, I'm like, mm, these are for exclusive people only. No one's going to see these pictures, so yeah. why not? Why waste a good picture? And just, you know? No, I definitely recycle. You got to give them free passes. Exactly. You got to give some free passes. Exactly. <laughs> what are your biggest turn ons? Ooh, um, I love when guys smell good. I love uh, being kissed on the neck. Um,. I don't know. I mean, and then if you go just like in general, uh, when a guy is like funny or kind, um, I don't like uh, has like nice manners, pulls out his like your chair and all that kind southern of southern gentleman. Yeah, I don't know. It's I like just put the on. southern in there, but maybe gentleman. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> Giving or receiving? Um, I like both, but I'm definitely a giver if I like it. If you like them? If I like them and if they're good down there. You know what I mean? Like if you're clean and, you know, you're it's all good. You're doing a full inspection good. ready to go before you're really getting in there. Yeah, exactly. But if it's good, then I'm totally good to go. I don't mind it. Lights on or off? Um, I guess it depends on how I'm feeling. <laughs> right? Lingerie or naked? Naked. Romantic tradition that you dislike? Hmm. Valentine's Day. You don't like Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day, even though you're a hopeless romantic? Yes. So what if your boyfriend did some really, like, cheesy, over-the-top, more than Paris? You would be like, nah, not today. If the 15th, I'd be okay with it. Right. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I think it's, uh, I've had such bad Valentine's Days that I'm jaded now, okay. and you know, I'm just one of those things I don't like the holiday now. You just need someone to come back and erase those bad memories. Girl, yeah, exactly. Things. I've had those times, too, and then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do this for myself. I'm in this stage where it's like dating mm -hmm. myself. Right. So it's like how I would want someone to date me. I have to do myself. So I've been doing like a lot of like those self, not just self-care, but self-love. Self -love, yeah. And doing like dates and like little romantic things that I would want someone to Oh, date. I love that. It's a good idea. I like that. How old were you the first time you had sex? Um, I it was four days before my 16th birthday. And I was babysitting my two sisters. And uh, they were asleep. They were, up, they they were asleep <laughs> upstairs, and I was in the basement on the couch, and my mom uh, and dad were both gone on the vacation with my older sister. So, and so your boyfriend stayed through. over? Um, yes, and he snuck through the the sliding window or sliding doors downstairs. And did you have this uh, planned out because it's like you knew they were leaving, so it was like it was like that like yeah moment. We did plan it out just because uh, we were kind of get, getting up to that point, and he was going off to college in a few days. So I think we were felt like, like that was going to seal the deal. Yeah, and it did. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he now? Oh, ugh, good riddance on that one. Trust me. Dodged a bullet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember those times. Those times, it's always like, you know, when you look back at it, you're like, why? Why did you do that, little girl? Right. And you're like, but it can, it's all like experience. Right. You know what I mean? To exactly. Like, you know, it's, everything happened for a reason. But it was special at that time, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah, at the time. What's your secret sexual fantasy? Um, I, don't, I mean, I want to have sex on a, on a jet, right? In the air. So you're not a does. part of the Mile High Club? Uh, I've given a blow job and I've gotten fingered on an airplane before. So half, I guess, is it so any half. just sexual activity maybe? I feel like it should be allowed. It should be included. Yeah. I'm part of the club, but I've had sex on it. So oh, really? Damn. Yes. How was that? It was a lot of fun. Yeah. It was a Southwest flight. It oh, was really? really great. <laughs> yeah. Even more, like, it was just a thrill seeking of Did something. you really go in the back? And well, no, we were in the seat. It shut was, up. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. 
Wow. It was dark. It was a late flight. And yeah. we had friends that we knew that were right behind us, but we were like the row in front of them. And we like reclined the seats and then we like spoon and then had sex. And then it wasn't like a full blown, you know, thing, whatever, but it was just that. And then I started getting nervous. And I was like, oh, I can't because the lady kept walking back and forth yep. to a blanket on us. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh, my God. But I was like, like, oh, my God, what do you do? Oh, my God. Oh and my then God. Um, and then I was like, uh, and then I just kind of like sat up and he was like, yeah, he finished. It. I think how dirty those chairs are. <laughs> <laughs> Me and you both have done something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it was definitely fun, but it was definitely like I'm not going out there doing it again. But it's nice to say, it's right? Like, you know, exactly. Like, you know, I'm not gonna do that again. No. Yeah. But, but no, definitely no. I'm definitely I'm not as much as a thrill seeker in that way because I'm like right. I have too much to lose that I'm right. like doing this. So, but it's fun. Put me on a private jet. We're cool. You know? Yeah. It's, exactly. It's different. You know? Right. I mean, or pop thing. up in first class, like on an international flight. You know, you have those big. Yeah. So those little like cube things. Yeah. That could work like it what would be your perfect date night um hmm. probably start with uh some pasta Mm -hmm. Uh, i love some truffle pasta so that'd be nice and then after that we would be hungry yeah yeah, talk to me more i am hungry now too (laughs) um and then i don't know i love the movies but honestly uh like actually going to the theater or like how like doing the whole like the whole covid dating no, yeah, actually, no, I love going to the theater. Um, I used to, I'll go by myself. Uh, nice. Before COVID, I'd go like once a week. Um, but that's not, I guess, really ideal for like a date. Um, or maybe doing like some kind of activity. So maybe start with the activity and then go get the pasta. Um, like surfing or uh, just, I mean, I'm a thrill seeker. So something fun. We could jump out of a plane or whatever. That might be a little too intense. <laughs> for the <laughs> no. first date? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. All right, let's do another card. All right. Uh, Ace of Diamonds. Diamonds is a spicy question. Oh, all right. We like spicy questions here. Yes. Craziest place you've ever had sex? Hmm. It'd probably have to be uh, either... I mean, honestly, I haven't done... I mean, had sex in the craziest places. I feel like it was in a dressing room at, like, in Nordstrom's or something. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, well, I that's mean, crazy. But not a lot of people can say that. Yeah, right? <laughs> or on a diving board in the middle of a lake. Okay. I mean, I don't know. Nothing crazy as far as, like, locations, I feel like. Best move in the bedroom? Uh, hmm. I feel like reverse cowgirl is... Uh, underrated. Underrated. It's yeah. definitely underrated. It's hot. I agree. I feel like it's better for them because, like, especially with her big booty like mine, I'm like, you can see it this way. You don't have to, like, you know, see in the back. I'm just, right. I'm doing the work. So you win win. Right, exactly. And you get to watch it. Like, That's a good workout. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> you like to sweat, girl. You know how to do it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Shortest or, lo- or shortest or wait, longest time you've had, you have not had sex. I couldn't say that one. That was a tongue twister. Um, longest time you've gone without sex. There we go. I got it. Probably a few months, like three months or something like that. That is not that long, girlfriend. You're like, yeah, yeah it's so long, three months. Probably, <laughs> three months. like, so, you know, girl. I've gone eight months is the longest. Oh, wow. I don't, re- like, recommend it. I right. it's actually been nine. It's not really healthy for anybody, or well, at least myself. Right. I feel like I function way better while I'm having sex. Yeah, like, even if it's just, like, a casual, like, thing one yeah, time. Yeah, like, it needs like, to, like... You it's feel just, good. It's just like something that masturbating doesn't do for you. It's just something that releases, you know. Right. It makes you think healthily. Right. It's for me, that's my body regiment, private talk. At least that's what I say. Right. <laughs> no. But masturbating is nice. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's definitely, definitely a great time. How many times have you had sex in one day? Um, I think my record's eight or ten. Eight or ten. Yeah. One person. One person. How many and times have you masturbated with by yourself in a day yes eight or ten eight or ten <laughs> yeah <laughs> like how many hours are we counting are you one of those people who just get like you know you just be locked in your room and they're like banging and i'm like where are you at are you yeah, in there? Exactly. hold on i'm almost done <laughs> are you more of like uh outside clitoral or are you like inside like are you using the rabbit or are you using hitachi um i'm using the rabbits but i honestly the clit's fine for me 
But see, with the rabbit, it's both, so it's great. Yeah, but I don't really use that that part. part. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I feel weird like going in like that. I feel like I'm just like a when I masturbate. I'm all just like the emotions. I'm like thinking yeah. about it. It's like <laughs> oh yeah, damn. <laughs> like oh, think. But I mean, because I haven't used a rabbit in a really long time. For me, I'm more clitoral stimulation. Right. Then if I because I feel like I mean I obviously use a dildo at times, whatever. But I feel like I'd rather just have sex. Yeah. So definitely. for me, it's like I'm more of a Hitachi girl. Like it's right. very rare. But I yeah I do have a rabbit that I have, have my face on. But it's like one of the I haven't used it in a very long time. Right. right. So I was trying to think like do you use those little rabbits or not? Yeah, and I love the the vibrator during sex, like for the clit simulation, because I like, feel like I doing it? use. That's how I like masturbate so much that that's I feel how like you need I that need extra it. push. Yeah. Do you find that guys ever get intimidated by you bringing that out, or no. do they like like it? Usually they like it. I feel like because some guys very, get rarely. really intimidated by toys. I feel like some of them do, but then they're not for me. <laughs> so you're very like promiscuous. You like all the toys. You're into yeah, like, yeah. I'm fun. So your toy open. your toy drawer is very. There's a plethora of things. I have a toy drawer. Yes. I like yes. this. I like it. <laughs> I like it. All right. Next card. All right. Uh, Ace of Spades. Ooh, that's the naughty question. Aren't they all naughty? <laughs> I say that too. Yes, we are all a little naughty, a little spicy, a little romantic. It gets yeah. a little plethora of things. Exactly. That's how it's truth with Texas. Doggy or missionary? Uh, doggy. Favorite place to have sex? Do you like, you know, just the regular like yeah. bed thing? Or do you like, are you adventurous? You said you're a thrill seeker. So yeah. are you like... Balcony, outside, public sex. Um, I guess. How far does it go? I guess a bed or like a chair is kind of fun sometimes too. You know. Okay. So you sit on them. For at least one position, side yeah. saddle is really good. Oh yeah. Yeah, because it's like you're like not full. You're like on the half of it, so like you're facing your butt's here and your legs are this way. So it's like you're oh. looking, so you can like kind of like see them and like. Interesting. Teaching you some new tricks. Yeah, thank you. Jay, Just you like one. that? How <laughs> <laughs> to hit up my uh, fuck buddy. <laughs> I like this. Uh, biggest turn off? Um, ooh, uh, bad breath. Mm. Or like you when the guy smells, or you, you BO, all of that. It's You're disgusting. a big pheromone person. You yeah. Said you like the ugh. smell of guys, so that's the first, like, yeah. Are you a big, like, kisser? So, like, are you yeah. always going to be, like, intimate in that way? Yeah. So you're, like, I like to kiss as long as they're good at it. Um, and as long as their breath, they have good hygiene. If they don't, then it's a no for me. It's a no for me. You heard it, Private Talk. I hope <laughs> that you were liking this episode. I hope that you are subscribing to this channel already because it's fucking awesome. We get to know all kinds of fun things about people. You've got one more card. Right. Let's feel what it is. I, I mean, I already know what it is, but you know, it's the kinky club Clubs. questions. Are you ready? Are you liking this game? Yes, I am, actually. Are you, uh, I mean, I feel like these are questions that most people don't answer, so I appreciate you for participating oh, and being a part of Private Talk, but I feel like fans want to know, and if you're mm -hmm. already an open person out there, you know what I mean? Why right. not give them what they want? Give them a little bit more oh. with Private Talk. Okay. I like it. Got it. it. All right, so Kinky Club, our last set of questions. Rough sex or sensual sex? Mm, I like both. I like it to be spanked and like choked or whatever, hair pulled. But are you the submissive always, or do you like to be dominant as well? So I like to be dominant, but then I love when the guy then over dominates my dominant ass. You, you know have I mean? like a safe word. How do you know? Like cause sometimes, unless you've been with this person, like an ex that that's you. That's true. You know what I mean? How do you? Because sometimes it's like that's very like a, a, a gray area. Yeah, you're right. Um, I don't have a safe word, uh, and I definitely have had moments where I was like, oh, okay, this is. So maybe that's something you should look into with right. any partners before. Like, hey, if we're going to cross this line, let's whatever. Right. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's, you know what I mean? Because it's like yeah. when you tap in those things, some people, because even with me, I'm a light bondage type of person. Mm -hmm. But even me, I'm like, how do you smack before? Like before you smack my ass? Because some people don't even know how to smack yeah. you right. And they just do it like uh, whatever. Sometimes it's like really And hard. I find myself, I'm a connoisseur because I've been, you know, in the adult industry, but I've also mm -hmm. seen a lot of different things. When I went to, when I go overseas and do um, signings and stuff, mm -hmm. Um, European culture and things is very into BDSM stuff. So we used to do these signings with like on these like chain beds and things like that, that yeah. people wanted us to like beat them with the cane. And I was like, oh, I can't. I don't know how. Like, right. I'm not into that. I don't want to hurt you. And they're like, you're not hurting me. You're like, I'm, I like it. So they taught me how to do it. And so from those things, I liked, I saw how 
the pleasure and pain of aspect came from it of why they enjoyed it. But I also, you also have to be good at it and not right. hurt someone because you could cross the line. Right. But I was beating the shit out of people and it felt great after a while. I was right. like, what? This, whoosh, a cane is way different in life. I yeah. was like, you're going to remember me tomorrow. Yes, sit down next to that one. So yes, we're going to look into your safe <laughs> Yes, safer. I will. What is your favorite sex toy since you have a drawer full of them? What is your favorite one? Um... I guess just, you know, a simple vibrator, just because I use it constantly. Keeping it simple. Yeah. Have you ever been caught masturbating? Yes, I have. By whom? By my sister, and it was hella awkward. Did you continue to keep going, or you were like, get out of my room? No, <laughs> I did not continue. You, did you go. deny it? Uh, yes, <laughs> I did. Of course. It well, was so awkward. I'm like, oh. Did she believe your story? Um, I think she was just being nice. And have y'all talked about it since? No, we have not. <laughs> <laughs> and I won't bring it up. I hope she forgot. <laughs> dirty talk, yes or no? Uh, yes. Are you the one doing the dirty talk? Yes. Can you tell us some dirty talk that you your go to? Um, let's see. Um, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> you can pass if you don't want to. Uh, might pass on that one. Okay. But okay, let's see. Hmm. Bondage, you already know you're going to be tied up. You like role play? Uh, I haven't really done too much of it, but I'd be open to it, yeah. Okay. All right, let's see. Last question. What type of porn turns you on? Um, I mean, I go through phases. Also, I haven't watched porn in a very long time I was going to say, do now. you even watch porn? I used to. Um... I think it's been years. So what do you masturbate to now? Do you have to like, is it something like, like you, uh, sessions you've had before or is it something you watch or like what? It's like, I'll think of a a guy I like (laughs) and then I'll just like get off like that. So you don't even have to have had sex with him. It's just, you like him. So you're just fantasizing about the encounter. I have a very good imagination. Can you (laughs) not say the name, but tell us a fantasy about one of these, uh, sexual masturbation times you've had? Story time? Uh, yeah, I mean, I just, I don't know. Story just time think, with Auntie J? Yeah, I just think about him, you know, like, going down on me and then, like, you know, fucking me. I don't know, like, the the speeds and all that. and I, like With your toy? Yeah, and they get me off. Nice. Yeah. I like it. Winning. I like this. I like this. Yes. All right. Thank you for playing Truth With Texas. Oh, you completed me. all the questions. You were super honest. I appreciate you for telling all your fans and myself a little bit yes. more about you. Please plug any of your social media, any of your websites that you have so we can follow and support you. All right. Uh, yes, uh, my OnlyFans and my Instagram are at Awesome Anche. Awesome, A-W-E-S-O-M-E. A lot of people can't spell awesome, weirdly enough. And then uh, Anche, A-N-T-J-A-Y. And then on TikTok, I'm Antia Utgard. And on well, Twitter, I'm Awesome Anche as well. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Awesome. Is there any question that you would like to ask me since I've had you in the hot seat? Uh, when did you uh, lose your virginity? I was 16. Pretty sure I was 16. Okay. Yeah, I was 16 or 17. No, I think I was 16. I think it was a summer, so I might have just turned 17, but around there, yes. It was like, I said it was like Pringles. Once you pop, you just don't stop. Right. It was like it unleashed a whole plethora of sexual I don't know if it was frustration or um, curiosity. Right. But, yeah, definitely. And what, what turns you on? What turns me on? Um, I'm big on smells. I'm big on, like, right. very, like, confidence. So, like, because I'm a big, I'm an alpha female, so I feel like it takes a strong male to get my attention or even entertain me. Right. Um, because a lot of people kind of uh, either go aggressively or don't talk at all when an alpha comes in the room they don't know how to deal with it or whatever that energy um so i feel like i like confidence Mm -hmm. and um yeah all right and last one uh what's your type what is my type i don't think i have a type sadly enough i don't think if that's a sad question or reaction or i don't know i feel like it's um everyone i've ever dated has always been different Mm-hmm. So I think more of it relies maybe on the personality. It's usually like humor right. and like genuineness and like caring, like those kind of things. But they're also assholes because they're also my exes. So I don't really know exactly. what that goes to. Exactly so I think it's all up front. But right. um, I don't really know if I have a type. I think I'm also in a, in a place where I'm figuring out what my type is and kind of I'm based more on energy now and what makes me feel good in the yeah. moment and like kind of like going off that and kind of 
trusting my intuition more and right. not like what I think that I thought that I should have be with or something like that. Yeah. Something un- unobtainable. Yeah. Um, I like but that. yeah. Yeah, so we'll, we'll figure it out. We're, uh, private talk is along for my journey. Still single, private talk, but, you know, maybe one day <laughs> right. they'll, they'll find somebody out there. But I'm not in a rush. I definitely yeah. am enjoying, you know, doing the whole I'll dating myself. Summer. Let's and go. Yes, I'm down. Let's, yes. let's go pool party in L.A. Oh, hell yeah. Yes, I'm definitely down for it. It was a pleasure having you. Thank thanks you again. And uh, thanks for tuning in, private talk.